Ask Radit Bajkabari. What is the vegetarian or vegan equivalent of eating a rotisserie chicken with your bare hands in your car in the parking lot? An entire brown, foldable to-go box of hot bar mashed potatoes with mushroom gravy using a small to-go sauce container as a spoon. Whole Foods hot bar mac and amp, cheese with a heap of balsamic brussels sprouts on top. No utensils needed. Eating an entire whole watermelon and then wearing the empty carcass as a hat. I once saw someone do this, minus the hat part, after eating an entire rotisserie chicken, 5 stroke 8 of a pizza, 3 large size Snickers bars, and a gallon of iced tea. Edit, please note that he cut the watermelon with a plastic knife. I worked at a Sam's Club and it was the weird regular old man who would always eat a weird amount of food and also eat relish out of the packets. He rode around in the little cart and wore a little captain's hat. We named him the SS Creepy. My sister and I crushed a Korean jalapeno pancake with our bare hands in the car the other day. We got a bunch of other takeout to enjoy at home too, but couldn't wait to go in on that pancake. It was screaming hot right off the griddle and perfectly crispy. Jalapenous was spicy and sauce was saucy. Pretty similar experience to rotisserie in terms of both level of ecstasy and level of grease. Honestly I think this is the right answer. Deleted. This one. We've tanked a tub of hummus with pita on the way home from the store more than once. My dumbest teenager eating an entire head of lettuce one leaf at a time while sitting in front of a video game. That sounds healthy at least. Getting a $5 hot and ready cheese pizza and immediately eating that in your car in the parking lot with your bare hands but it's so hot you burn your mouth yet you keep going until your cousin's boyfriend knocks on your window and tells you he and his mom have been watching you and laughing for several minutes. Not that I know from experience or anything. So many people here just sharing recipes without understanding the assignment, but you get it. I guess if people have been veg for a while, they might not know a rotisserie chicken like instantly slimes your hands. You'd have to be in a reasonably feral mood to eat one in a car. Eating a family sized pasta meal by yourself. Yes. I don't make pasta very often because I'm a bottomless pit for it. I don't know what it is, but I can just eat and eat and eat noodles without getting full. Everybody says rice doesn't fill them up. I'm good with rice. Pasta though? Nope. On the off chance I do get full, I am hungry again within the hour. My brother and I went to a weekly class. It was pretty informal and a guy would come every week with just stalks of celery and eat them during class. It was so barbaric for some reason. He became celery guy and we both feared and revered him. Celery guy did not care who he disturbed how the liquid pulled in the corners of his mouth and fingers. He ate several stalks and did not care. I still think about him all the time, those crunches still sound in my mind. There was a girl in my college who would eat plain uncooked top ramen noodles right out of the package in class. The sounds were probably the same, though she left crumbs and not liquid debris. Giant pile of fresh french fries. Tear open bag, drizzle ketchup, devour while silently weeping. My doctor told me it's generally healthier to eat two burgers than have a burger and fries. Two fingers in the humus tub in your car in the parking lot. Sometimes you gotta get something in your belly now. Bonus points if you don't wash your hands before doing that but spit on them and clean them off on your shirt. Shoveling a bag of pre-grated cheese into your mouth on the kitchen floor at 3am. You are not my wife. Ripping the skin off and devouring the sweet flesh of a perfectly ripe mango. I'm not vegan vegetarian, but something about peeling and eating mangoes makes me feel feral. Juicing running down your chin, draining it like a vampire. Many years ago, there was a call-in show on NPR where they were interviewing an author and baker who'd written a book about bread. It was surprisingly interesting. 
On my way home from work that evening, I stopped at the grocery store and got a massive fresh baguette. It was still warm. What luck. And tore off a huge piece in the car to eat on the way home. It was so good. Even for a grocery store bakery baguette. Because I had been thinking about bread all day. I love the mental image of watching someone eat an entire baguette while stuck in traffic. For me, eating multiple tubs of hummus with just my fingers. I love that stuff. Seeing a few comments about hummus I feel less weird and guilty for having it by the bucket. Hummus plus pita chips equals chef's kiss. Eating an entire pack of Aureus while watching Adventure Time. Well. You called my 30 year old self out. For my vegetarian ex. I think it was devouring the cauliflower tacos in the car on the way home. She always left one so I didn't eat alone. I thought it was hilarious. Eating a multi-pack of its seaweed thins whilst simultaneously fisting a tray of vegetable sushi into your gob. Wondered where you were going for a second with the fisting. As a child on an organic gardener mum in the 60s, picking veggies for dinner. Possible one stroke three of the stuff we picked ended up inside us before we took it inside. Carrying a bucket of water helped with washing the root veggies. And it was important to say what's up, doc when eating a carrot. As a vegan that spent a summer in his car. Emptying Taco Bell sauce packets into your top ramen. And cooking that ramen by setting it in the dash of your car for 30 minutes on a sunny day as you go shopping for a cheap bag of raw broccoli and some hummus at grocery outlet. Gotta respect your ingenuity, but I also hope you're in a more financially stable place now. My vegetarian, but not vegan, food related vice I had to ban myself from was eating a wheel of camembert, usually while watching TV. Me but in the oven with rosemary and olive oil first. Then dip bread in the glorious smelty miasma that results. Buying a pomegranate and going in on that bee. I mean, that's the vegetarian equivalent of eating a raw animal heart. While shopping at Costco with my mom, she bought one of the extended sized containers of raspberries. We weren't even out of the parking lot before she grabbed it from the back and started scarfing them down. Even funnier was when we were stopped at the light to leave the shopping center the driver of the minivan next to us was also eating raspberries from Costco, straight out of the container. They saw each other and laughed and laughed, doing a little toast with their containers before the light changed. So, raspberries. Eating a Costco sized flat of raspberries with your bare hands in the car right after buying them. A few years ago there was a huge sale on raspberries for a dollar at the local Publix and god help me I bought like 10 containers of them and only like half made it to my fridge. Eating a bunch of steamed corn on the cob in the car. It's just as messy, eaten with hands, and the biting motions of chomping and tearing off are similar. Ooh, this is a good one. Good sweet corn can be so messy too. Sometimes you get it and the kernels are almost stale. But other times? So juicy they explode and can drip everywhere. I'm from the Midwest and live on the West Coast now. The corn out here sucks most of the time. Whenever I go home during corn season, I have to eat it because I miss it so much. Eating a brick of tempeh with your bare hands like a granola bar. Regretfully I must admit that sometimes after the gym I will tear open a pack of, flavored, tofu with my pocket knife and eat it directly from the packet whilst walking down the street. Gotta get that protein. 